We all know that by having a functioning, respectful team, that everyone will be happy, um, mistakes are less often made, sick days are less, people look forward to coming to work. It's just a better outcome for everyone concerned, in particular the patient. People don't necessarily realise the impact they're having on others around them in the operating theatres when they do lose their cool and lose their temper. It makes people feel unsettled, they are more likely to commit mistakes. If someone is able to bridge that communication gap, it becomes a very positive environment. You know, it's a culture of care, not just of the team, but of the patient as well. By speaking up, we protect against the development of those insidious, destructive behaviours that we all wish to eradicate. When I've spoken out, uh, it's been after some careful consideration. It does require courage, some sensitivity, being prepared to, for the pushback that will sometimes occur. I would be mortified if I thought that I had given someone offence or hurt somebody. So it is really important to be told and the sooner I'm told the better because I can fix it. If one doesn't speak up the implicit understanding is that whatever behaviours that are occurring are an accepted part of that workplace. So I think it's really important that as leaders we play that role of championing good behaviour because it sets the scene for the entire team. We want to make sure that the community that we serve um, sees that we have their best interest in mind.